I'm Eric Van de Bogard, uh, the Supervisor of Facilities Operations with Hernando County School Board. I, I feel I'm here as a steward of the public's property and uh, I feel a, a great commitment to taking care of that public property and to preserve it not only for the people that are using it today but for the people that will be using it tomorrow and uh, five, ten years from now and when I'm gone from here. We have projects that are three and a half million just for HVAC upgrades that would be required at some of our facilities. So you can see with aging buildings and uh, systems starting to fail, it's an ex exponential growth. The uh, deferred maintenance backlog, basically if you spend one dollar today, if you don't spend that dollar today, it's about four dollars tomorrow because the systems start to fail, other things start to fail around them and the, the, the cost of those improvements start to grow exponentially. We're beginning to really fall backwards in a, a pattern that will be hard to recover. Uh, when I say that 60% uh, of our buildings and our square footage are over 25 years old, I'm talking about the systems, again, that are failing, but we don't even start to address some of the life safety aspects of, uh, of our buildings, such as uh, locks, uh, security systems, uh, ADA, uh, fire alarm systems, uh, that all require upgrades again over time. We're not in, uh, in very good uh, financial condition that our uh, reserve is, uh, is not where it should be, uh, that uh, we've been running uh, in the red uh, for a couple of years now and that if this continues uh, we'll deplete our reserve and uh, major uh, things will need to take place such as uh, uh, shuttering schools but uh, even when you shutter a school uh, cost comes with that that building's still an asset and unless you can sell that asset it's still on your books and still requires maintenance, still requires upkeep, it's still gonna require somebody to look into that building to make sure that mold isn't growing, that all of a sudden you've let that building deteriorate to a point that you have zero asset and that it becomes more of a liability. Uh, a shuttered building in my mind is a liability. Fernando County Schools has approximately $700 million in building asset value. Industry average states 3% of the total asset value should be dedicated to maintaining the assets annually, which is approximately $21 million. Economical times now may dictate that 1% of the total asset value be dedicated annually. 1% of the $700 million is approximately $7 million per year annually that should be dedicated to maintaining the school facilities. Right now we should be replacing roofs that are over 20 years old. We have a 20 year life cycle on a roof and in Florida lots of times that's less than 20 years because of the sun and the UV damage. The um, HVAC systems in the schools, we have some that are 23 20 to 25 years old. Again, that's a 20 year life cycle replacement. So we are operating schools on three to five year past their prime uh, HVAC systems and uh, it, where we could be replacing them for a million dollars today, again, four million dollars tomorrow. We continue to work with what we have, and we will continue to work with what we have, and we'll continue to prioritize uh, the most critical areas and to put our uh, uh, to put our, our energy and efforts and our resources into those most critical areas. If we were able to get to the 1% mark and we were able to spend the seven to nine million dollars annually on projects that are uh, needed and uh, are eventually going to be required to keep these buildings operational, that would be uh, that, that's how we'd be able to get to where we're spending the dollar today and not the four dollars tomorrow. It, it's, it's a requirement. It's going to have to happen. And uh, we can't just close our eyes to it and pretend it's not going to happen. So uh, somehow securing 
a permanent source of funding to take care of the physical assets is absolutely necessary.